the triple repetition code. In a triple repetition code, that is 3m comma m, we can detect and correct a single bit error. So, if this m is equal to 8, then w is equal to z2 raise to 8, such that the encryption function, it uh, translates 8 bit data into 24, because 8 3s are 24, by encryption of w is equal to z1 to z8, z1 to z8, z1 to z8. That is nothing but whatever the 8 bit message you want to send, that would be repeated 3 times to make 24 bit. So, if w is equal to 10110111, then the code word which is equal to encryption of the input which is equal to, so you have to write this w 3 times, once, 2 times, 3 times, so that it forms a 24 bit code word. Then the decoding function, it converts this 24 bit binary data into 8 bit which is done by using majority rule. Suppose this uh, transmitted code word is this, then R is computed. This is your uh, original message, 8 bit data is computed at the receiver end as below. So, first 8 bits you write as it is, then the next 8 bits you write in this form, and the next 8 bits you write in this form. So, now using the majority rule, so here 2 occurs. Uh, 1 occurs 2 times and 0 occurs 1. So, major, according to majority rule, this will be decoded as 1. Here, all the bits are 0, so it is 0. Then here, all the bits are 1, it is 1. Again, here, there are uh, 2 times 1 and 1 times 0, so majority is 1, so it is 1. Then again, here, 0. Here, it is 1. Again, here, it is 1. Here, it is majority is 1. So, this is the decoded word at the receiver end. So, you can observe that there is a 3 bits errors here at the position 4, this is the 9th bit and this is the 24th bit. But still we could decode correctly until and unless 2 or more errors occur with 1, 9, 17 that is nothing but if all the, if there are more than 1 bit at the same position that is this is position 1, this is position 9 and this is position 17 then we cannot recover it. But if there is only 1 bit uh, flip at this position, we can decode it correctly. Or if it is at uh, 2, 10 and 18 for the second bit, again we can decode only when there is a single bit flip. So, with p is equal to 0 0.01, the probability of correctly decoding a single bit here is, so here you have 3 bits. So, the probability of decoding correctly is with no bit flip that is 0 0.999 rise to 3 plus 1 bit could be, there could be only 1 bit uh, flip uh, with the probability of 3C1 into, this is the probability of uh, uh, incorrect transmission which is 1 bit that is 0 0.001 and this is the 2 bits which are transmitted correctly that is 0 0.999 rise to 2 which is coming to 0 0.99997. This is for only one bit. So, the probability of correctly receiving and decoding 8 bit messages is, so for one bit this much, so it is rise to 8 which is this value. So, some more examples on the triple repetition code. Suppose m is equal to 3, then encryption is transferring this 3 bit data into 9 bit because you are copying 3 bits 3 times. So, it becomes 9 bits. So, the decoding function uh, that is transferring uh, this 9 bits into 3 bits it carried out by the same majority rule. Now, apply to apply the decoding function to decode the received words. Suppose this is the received words. So, because you have 9 bits you divide it into 3 parts. So, first 3 bits, second 3 bits and third 3 bits and make a uh, uh, like this and use the majority rule. So, here 111 majority is 1, so 100 zero zero majority is uh, 0, so 111, so the majority is 1. So, here how many bits are flipped here? So, in this position 1 bit and in this position it is 1 bit. So, you have 2 bit error in this case. So, likewise you can do this, so 3 bits 0, 1, 0, next 3 bits 0, 1, 1, next 3 bits 1, 1, 1 and according to the majority rule 0, 0 and 1, so majority is 0, so 0, so majority is 1, here again majority is 1. <coughs> this is a decoded word. Likewise, if you take this, you will be <coughs> decoding as 0, 0, 0. Next is finding 
find three different received words R for which description of R makes zero. So here it means that if I take this R1, if I decode, I should get 0, 0, 0. So here it is not just 0. Just a minute. Here the decoding bit the data is 0, 0, 0. So here if you want this 0, 0, 0 with the only one bit flip, this could be the flipping at the least significant bit or this is at this position or flipping at a different position. So here this corresponds to this. So here you can flip one bit and here also you can flip one bit. So these are three words. You can you have another uh, many answers for this. You can write any three answers. Next for each W belongs to Z2 rise to 3. What is the D inverse of W? So here you require uh, these six bits. So each of these six bits could be having two options. So it is 2 raised to 6 since it is a majority rule. So these uh, uh, six bits will be affecting the decryption of the word. Next is a Hamming metric. So for each element x is equal to x1, x2, x1, xn where each xi is an element of x2 rise to n that means each is a binary data which is either 0 or 1 then the weight of x is nothing but it is represented by wt of x is the number of components xi of x such that xi is equal to 1. It means so if x is a binary data how many 1s are there in that x will represent the weight of that x. So suppose x and y are the elements of z2 rise to n, that means n bit binary data, then the distance between x and y is denoted by d of xy is the number of components where xi is not equal to yi. So where if you compare bit by bit xi and yi, wherever they are not equal, so that will be added to the distance of xy. Suppose x is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 6, 1 and y is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and z is equal to 3 zeros followed by 3 ones. Then weight of x is nothing but how many ones this x has, it is 6. Then weight of y is how many ones this y has is 3. Then weight of z is again 3. And suppose if you do modulo 2 addition of x and y, so 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is uh, 2 modulo 2 is 0, then 1 plus 0 is uh, 1, then 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is uh, 2 modulo 2 is 0, then 1 plus 1 is 2 modulo uh, 2 is 0. So now this is my x plus y, then weight of, weight of this x plus y is again 3. Now the distance of x, y is how many bits x and y are differ. So it is uh, shown here in the red mark. So here it is uh, 1, here it is 0, so it is 1 and here both are same. Next is uh, 1 and 0, so there is a uh, increment in the distance by 1, so it is 2, then 1 and 0, so it is uh, 3 and the remaining two bits are matching. So the distance of x, y is equal to 3. So likewise the distance of y, z is how many bits uh, the y and the z are differing. So it is, you can observe there is only just one minute. So here one, this is one, one is same. Here zero, one, it is a different. So here, just a minute. So y and z are differing at two positions. So the distance of y, z is two. Now lemma, for all x, y belongs to z2 rise to n, that is x and y are binary strings of length n. Weight of x plus y is always less than or equal to weight of x plus weight of y. So in the above example, if you observe weight of uh, x, y, x plus y is uh, 3, whereas weight of uh, x is 3, weight of y is uh, x is 6, y is 3. So 3 is less than or equal to 6 plus 3 is true. Next theorem. So the distance function d is defined on z2 rise to n cross z2 rise to n satisfies for all x, y belongs to z2 rise to n. Distance of x, y is greater than or equal to 0. So why? Because if x, i is equal to y, i, then the distance is 0. Otherwise, distance is equal to 
is uh, equal to 1. So, if you combine those two, you will get distance of xy is greater than or equal to 0. Now, distance of xy is equal to 0, which implies xi is e xi, x is equal to y. It means that the distance is nothing but you mismatches. So, if there is no mismatch, it implies all the bits of x and y are same, which implies x is equal to y. Now, distance of xy is equal to distance of yx because distance of xy is nothing but weight of uh, <coughs> x plus y. I can write it as weight of y plus x which is equal to distance of yx. So, similarly, you can prove that d of xz is less than or equal to d of xy plus d of yz by making use of uh, y plus y is always equal to 0, you can prove this. So, a function which satisfies all the above properties is called as a distance function or a metric and we call this a 2 raised to n comma d a metric space and d is called as a Hamming matrix that is a distance matrix is called as a Hamming matrix. So, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.